Student Athlete of the Week. Brought to you by Bellaria Pizza and Italian Restaurants. 27 First News Network. Home of the High School Basketball Starting Five Award. And the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. Dumps it off to Blast and in. He's on fire here in the first half. He throws it down. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week Tuesday edition. Sponsored by Stadium GM on my YTV. One of the most highly anticipated boys basketball games of the entire season is set to tip off tonight. LeBray facing off with Poland in a special presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasbinski alongside Will Klusenik. One loss between the two. LeBray undefeated at 20 and 0. Poland not far behind at 19 and 1. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. It all starts with LeBray needing to contain those Poland Bulldog stars. LeBray going to try to contain O'Shaughnessy and Kramer. Kramer easier said than done. Both teams want to get off to a hot start, get the tempo in their favor and they want to shine on the big stage. Both teams have been under these type of circumstances and this type of game, both teams should be ready to go. Starting lineups have been introduced. Let's take a look at the starting lineups here as well as we're getting set to get this thing underway. Poland and LeBray for the Bulldogs. They will send out a backcourt of Diaz, Masucci, and Berenger. Underneath it is Daniel Kramer and Billy Orr. You'll notice Brayden O'Shaughnessy, not a starter, he will be in very soon. LeBray on the other end. Aaron Eiler and Benton Tennant in the backcourt. Logan Kaiser, Tyler Stevens, and Walt Ali underneath. Sit back, relax, and enjoy premier high school basketball. Two of the best teams in the entire area. The opening tip is controlled by LeBray, and we're underway here in Bulldog Country. They feed it underneath to Stevens. Ball is knocked out of bounds and will stay here 11 seconds in. These two meeting for the first time since January of 2017. LeBray came away that night with a 52-38 victory over Poland. Loose ball on the floor, picked up by the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs get the first turnover over of the game. Going to work the clock here, going to some of their sets. And Try to get a good open look, high percentage shot early on, and there's Kramer. Kramer had a monster night the other night. There's a takeaway. Diaz puts it up. It's short. Ball out of bounds. It'll stay here with 7.22 left. You know, Chad, after last night, or last game we were here, you know, there's a couple different ways where you can play Poland. You can try to take away the Stars, but then you can also try to take away Diaz, Berenger, and Orr. Those guys are always in the mix, creating some problems. Billy Orr with a basketball. Here's O'Shaughnessy, just checked in. He knocked it down! Like the microwave, Chad, just coming in right off the bench. Picking up right where he left off after Friday night's huge performance. 28 against Canfield. 3-0 in favor of Poland. At the elbow, it's Eiler cut off. Top side, Tyler Stevens. They're working right near that Poland bench. Logan Kaiser swings it onto the wing to Tennant. Stevens firing three ball. That one off the back edge, no good. Rebound, Eiler. Off the dribble, Aaron Eiler, floater up, and it falls in. Second chance opportunity, long shots, long rebounds. Eiler that time, high percentage, right to the 10. Diaz feeds it, or firing three ball, got it! And that's what Diaz does. He finds his teammates in transition or knocks down the three. 6-2 in favor of the Bulldogs. Just underway here in quarter number one. Stevens underneath to Logan Kaiser, top of the key. They swing it around to the right side, Eiler. Here is Kaiser. Stevens missed his first three-point attempt. Two minutes in to tonight's Battle of State ranked powers. Stevens raises up for three. That one off the rim, no good. Ball is knocked away, controlled by Masucci for Poland. 
Down the floor, Orr thought about the three and then thought better of it. And that's the discipline right there that Poland has, Chad. Even though he made the one, he probably could have had a heat check, but you got right there Stevens with the steal. Stevens races ahead of the pack, puts it up, it won't go. Cleaned up and stuck back in by Kaiser. And that's what you like to see, get those shots in transition. Defense can't adjust, Kaiser gets the easy one. Or in rhythm, he's got a number. Or senior forward having a night. Eiler off the dribble, takes it baseline. And it's an offensive foul called on Eiler for lowering the shoulder. It stays a five-point pull yeah, and lead. And Eiler agrees with that one. Trying to be aggressive, dip the shoulder just a little bit before the foul took place. And here's some of this pressure that we've seen from LeBray trying to create some more tempo. Ball is into Kramer. You want to talk about a monster night. You get a big ball game against Canfield, and he puts that one up a little bit short and almost came up with the offensive rebound. Benton Tennant, great ball movement in the corner. Eiler for three, up no good. Up the floor, oh, Shaughnessy has it stripped free from his grasp out of bounds. It'll stay with the Bulldogs. And if you're LeBray, that's a good sign, not giving up those easy runouts in transition. Eiler with great hustle to save the bucket. Poland up 9-4. Great entry pass for O'Shaughnessy. Couldn't stick it in from point-blank range. A chance for Benton Tennant and the LeBray Vikings. Poland comes up with the steal. Ahead to Kramer. He puts it up and in. And that's the pace. Looking up the floor. Kramer, right place, right time. Run out. 11-4 Poland. Stevens from the corner. It is picked up by Kaiser. Back to Tennant. Walton Lee feeds Kaiser. Up off the rim. No good. Stevens. Second try. Won't go. Loose ball on the floor. Diaz controls. There's a near steal by LeBray. Or controls. O'Shaughnessy lobs it underneath. Off the glass and in. Nicely done. Poland looking to run. 13-4 is our score with 357 left to play and Poland getting it done on all ends and you can see Poland looking to run in transition they can shoot the three and get the high percentage layups in transition they do such a great job of looking for teammates up the floor so three minutes and 57 seconds left. This is a call timeout. We'll get our media timeout coming up next. Dead ball. Poland has come out, roaring out of the gates, looking like a well-oiled machine. Of course, this Poland team has done such a great job in the All-American Conference, their final season in the AAC. And we're so accustomed to seeing Poland on top of that AAC and you know they're looking forward not only to this game but as they progress into tournament to make their run that they normally do. LeBray likewise an AAC power. LeBray and Poland have won or shared their respective tiers seven times. But it's Poland coming out looking very polished early on. Ken Grisdale has his team playing its best basketball at just the right time. Of course, they fell for the first time a couple of Friday nights ago on the road, and sometimes a loss can be beneficial. You know, I think last time, sometimes we've seen Poland, it defensively has, has picked up, and I think that's been the difference. Vikings have it off the dribble. Elijah Whiteside to the top of the key. It is Meyer. They feed it into the corner. Three ball by Whiteside. It won't go. Ball is loose. And it is gobbled up by Poland's Billy Orr. And now the Bulldogs will slow things up. Over the time stripe into the forecourt. It's Braden O'Shaughnessy to Diaz at the top of the key. Diaz whips it over onto the left wing. It's Berenger. 
And they feed it to Orr. Orr backing in, spinning, feeding Diaz. Three minutes left in the quarter. Diaz thought about taking it right down Broadway, thought better of it. Picks up that dribble. And now feeds it to Braden O'Shaughnessy. And now we have a whistle. And now it's an ill-advised whistle, and with 2.49 left to play, here in quarter number one, we will take timeout. Poland with a 13-4 lead. Chad Kaiser and his Vikings have some work to do in the WKBN High School Basketball. Keep it away. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com, where you can view the entire inventory. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Estrino. Did you bring your heart with you today? It's in here. It's in there? Breathe in real deep. Wow. Let me listen to that tummy. Let me check your hands, make sure they don't fall off. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> Girl, can you get falling out? Nothing. Okay. How about a fist bump? <laughs> wow. Thanks, guys. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. It's a good crowd, great atmosphere here tonight as usual here at Poland. 2.49 left to play in the opening quarter. Bulldogs cruising with a nine-point lead at this point. Poland with the ball. Going to that last time out, Ken Grisdale was calling out. An offensive set, the official misheard him. Blew the whistle, and he just blows the whistle again, and we have a LeBray reach-in foul. It is tagged to Connor Meyer. And right now, defensively, is where Poland is shining, making a lot of high percentage shots and open shots. Going to see if LeBray is able to counter with that, get some of these runouts, high percentage shots to get themselves to close the gap. O'Shaughnessy, quick take, and he put it in. Poland right where they left off. O'Shaughnessy, excellent take. Up at the top of the key, into the paint, Meyer stops, feeds it right side, off the glass and in, nicely done by Eiler. And that's what LeBray needs, but you can see Poland right back at him. Wasting no time, Behringer couldn't finish. LeBray cuts it back to a nine-point lead, Meyer out front, defended by Diaz, and Diaz with a little bump and a reach-in foul. Mike Diaz is one of those guys that you really would not want to dribble the ball around him. He, he's on there wearing you like a cheap suit. He's not going to give you a break for one second. That's the kind of players are here at Poland. Very gritty, great effort, very fundamentally sound. There's a takeaway by the Bulldogs, but it is out of bounds off Poland. It'll stay with LeBray with 2.02 left. You know, Chad, back on Diaz, he's one of those guys where you always talk about guard the way you hate to be guarded. Yeah. And everybody knows what that feels like, and he does it all the time. Eiler sticks it in. And that's LeBray, what they need just to get a little bit of that confidence, build a little momentum, try to get that run going. O'Shaughnessy to the line, to the lane, puts it up and in. O'Shaughnessy showing who can do it in transition. 17-8, Diaz with a steal, line, lane. Puts it up and in. And there's Diaz with the deflection. Seems to get those all the time. The lead is 11 for Poland. 90 seconds left off the dribble come the Vikings. And LeBray answers back with Logan Kaiser. I like the shots that LeBray is getting, you know, but they've got to do a better job defensively of limiting the opportunities for Poland. Or floater, well defended by Whiteside. And the Vikings will push it up the floor. Kaiser can't handle it. Out of bounds. Back to Poland. One of those passes pretty hard to handle. You like the aggressiveness. But at the end of the quarter here, you got to make great decisions and get easy baskets. Kramer 
who had such a monster night in the win over Canfield last Friday. Triggers it in to Diaz as we're closing into the final minute of the quarter. Diaz to the line, to the lane, scoops it up and won't go. But he will shoot two. That just shows you the explosiveness and quickness of Diaz. Able to shoot the gap and get down the middle. It's hit with the body. And when you have players like O'Shaughnessy and Kramer and all the rest that can spread the floor out, Opens up a driving lane for guys like Diaz as we will see LeBray go back to the bench and it's Ali coming back in. Diaz, one of those unsung heroes, but he still is averaging 9.4 points, 5.3 assists. He's a 68% free throw shooter. Uh, it's that, I tell you what, I, and I, he's one of those guys that really holds this team together, gets guys in the right spots, and just his mentality is what makes it work. 20 to 10 is our score. This is Tennant. The Eiler. And now Kaiser. Tyler Stevens slicing in. Puts it up too strong. Well defended by Kramer. But then he walked with the ball. And it'll go back to LeBray. Vikings trying to cut into a 10-point deficit. LeBray getting the looks. But right now, Poland's got all the answers. Ball is lobbed in, stolen away, easy two for Diaz. And there's those other guys, the Behringer and Diaz. Behringer with the steal, Diaz with the easy lift. Five early points for Diaz. The lead is a dozen for the Bulldogs. Final seconds of this first quarter, ball poked three. O'Shaughnessy ends up with it. They whip it over to Diaz, who bounces it to Kramer, puts it up off the rim, no good. Cleaned up by Stevens, final chance for LeBray. Tennant to the line, to the lane, and with two tenths of a second left, we have a Poland foul called. And it'll be tagged to Mike Diaz. Here's a look-see. Yep, got the arm. So Tennant to the free throw line. And it cut this 12-point deficit down, and Tennant does just that. He's a 78.7% free throw shooter. He's averaging just a hair under 10 points per contest. Tennant drops it in to make it 22 to 12, and the first quarter's in the books. What a first quarter it was. Bulldogs with a 10-point lead. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Bring in your tax refund and save at the instant markdown sale at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore. We've just made special purchases of Lordstown Belt Chevy Cruises starting from only $10,900. $10, and personal Chevy Equinoxes from only $199. $199 a month with zero down. Plus, we've got 200 cars from $99. $99 a month with zero down. Trucks from $159. $159 a month with zero down. And if you have bad credit from divorce, medical bills, or bankruptcy, we can help you get financed. So bring in your tax refund and get the lowest prices anywhere at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. Have you ever had car trouble in a place like this? Yes, and it was like the worst experience of my life. When I get into my car, I want to know it's going to get me from point A to point B. Well, then I have some good news. Chevy's the only brand to receive JD Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Right now, qualified lessees can get this well-equipped, all-new 2018 Chevy Equinox for around $199 a month. See your local Chevy dealer today. You think it? We say it. You love it? We love it. We love it. The, the real is back. Any day that end in Y are days that you should have sex. You know real. Because you are real. Hello. Weekdays at 2 on MyYTV. 
Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back. We're all set for the second quarter. Glad you're with us on this Tuesday night. Poland 22, LeBray 12. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusenik back with you. A couple of area powers facing off. We play out the final week of the regular season. Tournament play getting underway in very short order. Girls action already in full swing. O'Shaughnessy couldn't stick it in from point blank range. LeBray ends up with it here as Tennant for the Vikings. That was a fantastic pass by Berenger. O'Shaughnessy might have been a little too close for, for comfort there. Can't make those that in tight. Tennant scoops it up and won't go. Ball is tapped towards the baseline. And it looked like Masucci underneath there, standing on the baseline with the ball. And so it goes back to LeBray. What a great opportunity for LeBray to play this type of game. You know, and realize now you've got to really buckle down offensively and defensively to, to claw yourself back into this down 10. But we've got a lot of game left. 10 it up front. This is Stevens. And we have an offensive foul called against LeBray. I think they just got Walt Ali. Yep. And that's always the tough one. You're trying to set the screen. You've got to be stationary and just moved a little bit. Easy call for the officials, and that'll be his first. So LeBray with four team fouls, Poland with two. Mike Masucci moves it over to Braden O'Shaughnessy. Cross the time stripe into the fourth court. Masucci, now Orr, Berenger. Underneath O'Shaughnessy, outside Berenger. He penetrates and feeds O'Shaughnessy. He works it back outside. He's defended by Ali. Here's Orr, slicing to the rack. Orr puts it up off the rim. Tap won't go. Rebound down to the Vikings. who will try to again cut into this 10-point deficit. Another near steal for Poland. Berenger applying the defense. Tennant puts it up short. Ali cleans it up. He puts it in. Or up, I should say. Not in, but he's able to draw the foul. And that's what LeBray needs to see. You know, you're getting a good look there. You get the, the miss here, but Ollie's right there to try to pick up that loose change to attack and get that second chance opportunity. Walt Ali sticks it in to make it 22-13. Masucci down, Diaz back in. Ali is just a 42.9% free throw shooter. It's one for one. And one for two. Or with a rebound off the miss. Braden O'Shaughnessy has had a stellar career here at Poland. Looking for another big ball game here tonight. And on his path to the basket, he drew the foul. And it'll be Ali picking up the personal. That'll be number two. And you could just see the court vision, even though there was a foul. O'Shaughnessy draws so much attention, able to just throw a nice lob right there to Kramer. So the ball is into Orr for Poland. Here's O'Shaughnessy in rhythm for three. He knocked it down. Textbook picture perfect execution. Lack of communication by LeBray. 25-13 off the dribble. Kaiser puts it up. Nope. Kaiser cleans it up and sticks it in. Kaiser able to get his own bucket still at 10. Easy bucket for. Poland, Berenger all alone underneath, laying it in. It's back to a 12-point Bulldog lead. And those are those guys that are sneaky. Berenger, Diaz, they get those just points on the run out, and that could have been a charge easily. Eiler rejected, cleans it up. It's an air ball. Diaz with a rebound off the miss. Diaz ahead of the pack. Kramer, Kramer, line, lane, partially blocked. He was a little bit short. LeBray with the rebound, it's Connor Myers spinning in the paint, fitting it outside, Eiler for three, got it! Not to be outdone, that's wonderful penetration by Meyer and finding Eiler. Or trying to answer back, no good. Rebound controlled by LeBray. Down the floor, this is Eiler, jump stop, up and in! 
And that's the type of run that LeBray needs to get back into this game. You got a couple quick shots down at Poland's end, playing a little quicker than they need to. Other guys shooting. That's great defense by Kaiser. Wow. And Stevens a, wasn't able to grab it, however, but boy, that was, you said it. Great defense. And what I love about that call is that he was up in the air, but he st stays vertical. So a lot, again, a lot of times people would call that. That's excellent defense and great job by the officials not calling it. Seven point Poland lead. Ball is into O'Shaughnessy. They feed it to Kramer. Kramer in traffic. Back to O'Shaughnessy. Three ball in the air. If you're Riley, you can't sleep on that. Inside out, O'Shaughnessy for three. 13 already. 30 to 20 in favor of Poland. Left wing, Stevens trying to answer. He's short of the triple try. Cleaned up by Tennant. That one won't go. Ball out of bounds. Back to Poland with 4.29 to play until halftime. Love the pace of this game right now. But I think the officials are letting yeah. these guys play. Great job. Jake Sell does an outstanding job as the official. I talked to him earlier on. Understands you know, what type of game this is. There's going to be contact. You know, Is there an advantage, disadvantage? Again, not all contacts are foul. We're down to 4.15 left of the quarter. Diaz scoops it up and in. There's the quickness by Diaz. He's just sneaky enough. That's his seventh point of the night. 32-20 is our score. From the corner, it's Meyer. Meyer whips it underneath. Eiler puts it up and in. And I really like how Eiler moves without the basketball. Excellent cut to get that high percentage shot. They lob it down the floor. Diaz, Diaz, floater up. And it falls. Diaz putting out a show here in the first half. Poland up by a dozen. Time out of the floor. We'll take it as well. Bring you back to Bulldog Country after this for the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Welcome to Youngstown Phantom Soccer. Tickets are on sale now, starting at just $10. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. Hi, Rob Bellman for Boardman Subaru, the home of the safest, most award-winning vehicles on the road today. Subarus are rated the safest vehicles, period, with EyeSight driver assist technology that gives you an extra set of eyes on the road. KBB has awarded Subaru as the best mainstream brand with the highest resale value and the lowest cost of ownership. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Three forty-five left to play. Here in the first half, this has been as entertaining as we thought that it would be. Poland and LeBray, just one loss between the two. And you look at the big time contributions on senior night, and Mike Diaz is one of those that was honored prior to the game. He's had a great start here in this one, and that's what you want on a night like this, on the big stage, as Chad Kaiser looks on. And you look at those seniors with Diaz, Berenger, and Orr, you know, they're doing a fantastic job in, in getting theirs in the flow of the offense. And to me, those are the guys that really just go unnoticed, but if they get their points, their poll is very difficult to beat. Malachi Roberts has checked in for LeBray. This is Kaiser over to Eiler. Eiler spins, floats. That one off the rim, no good. Tap won't go. O'Shaughnessy with a rebound. Outlet pass. Barringer, line lane. Puts it up and in. And these guys start looking for the guys on the runouts and Barringer. And he's got six on him tonight. 36-22 is our score. 3.05 left to play. 
Malachi Roberts into the corner. Eiler underneath towards Kaiser. And it looks as if Braden O'Shaughnessy is going to pick up the personal foul. That'll be the fifth team foul on Poland and number two on O'Shaughnessy. And that's one of those developing situations, too. He's got two. He's going to take a seat right now. But again, what an opportunity here for Poland now to again work through the offense a little bit. You've got guys that are more than capable. Kaiser feeding it to Stevens. Can't get it to go, but he claims it up and draws the foul. This shows you how athletic that is right there. Stevens didn't get it, but first off the deck to get his own rebound and try to get the puck back. Now going to head to the line. First foul on Masucci. Stevens brings great size at 6-5. He misses that free throw, and you look at what he's done since the middle of the month of December. He's averaged just under 20 points over the last 16 games total. He's also had a pair of 13 rebound games. He brings it night in and night out. 36-23. Diaz has that one picked off. Intercepted by Malachi Roberts. Here's Kaiser to Tennant. And Eiler in the corner for LeBray. Eiler stepped on the baseline. Right when you think LeBray's gonna just kind of crawl back into it, down 13. And here's a nice play right here. You're gonna try to trust O'Shaughnessy to come in here and do what he needs to do and not pick up that third. O'Shaughnessy trying to bring it up across. And this might be a tournament play too, Chad. You know, looking at it going, okay, let's see if you can play smart and not pick up that third foul because again, he's gonna be a big part of this and you're gonna face somebody in a tournament where you might need to do that. Diaz raises up for three, off the rim, no good. Rebound torn down by Eiler for LeBray. Stevens over to Tennant on the wing. If I'm LeBray, I'd like to go in, maybe try to get O'Shaughnessy isolated and try to pick up that third one on him. Stevens puts it over to Roberts. Looking underneath for Stevens. There's another Poland steal. O'Shaughnessy to Kramer. Puts it up and in. The big fellow running the floor. Textbook fast break. O'Shaughnessy to Kramer. 38-23 is our score. Tennant gives it over to Roberts. They feed Kaiser underneath. He muscles it up and in. Kaiser getting good looks on the offensive end. But Poland getting anything they want on the other end. Kramer, inside of 90 seconds left, gives it to Orr. Now O'Shaughnessy, a couple of really good number threes. Facing off, and there's a LeBray reach-in foul, tagged to Tennant. And the officials might make you touch, let you touch the hip a little bit, not consecutively, and they're going to go to one-on-one, and Diaz is going to head to the line. You can't ride the hip there, and that's an easy call for the officials. So Diaz now with a chance, as that's the first foul on Tennant, seventh team foul. Diaz with an opportunity to get into double figures. He's averaging just under nine and a half points a game, puts it in, he has 10. He connects on 68% of his free throw attempts. Ready, aim, fire. That time no good. Orr with the offensive rebound. He has it ripped free from his grasp. And here comes Connor Meyer for LeBray. Meyer picks up his dribble, looking for Stevens, but it's poked out of bounds by Kramer of Poland. If you're Stevens right there, you've got to make sure you get nice wide and back and don't let Kramer reach over the top. Got to control the arms, hands, and feet. 66 seconds left. Pinball basketball ends up in the hands of, guess who, Berenger. He loses the handle. It's out of bounds. It'll stay here with 102 left in the quarter. O'Shaughnessy is back in. Why not with another crack on the offensive end for Poland? Lob is into O'Shaughnessy, and he promptly puts it in. I mean, that is just picture perfect. Great read by O'Shaughnessy. Great pass.
blocking foul called against Poland. And I think they just got Berenger. Yep, that's number one on him. And that'll send Tennant to the free throw line. And that one falls off and then trickles out of bounds. And it's off LeBray. The body language for LeBray looks defeated right now overall. Yeah, you can definitely tell that Poland is really trying to take it at him right now. Bulldogs now trying to run some clock. We're down to 45 seconds. Well, when you're undefeated like LeBray is, you haven't been in a situation like this much, if at all. Underneath, Kramer put it in! Diaz with another outstanding pass, unselfish. Still going to remain LeBray basketball. I just love how they see the floor and how unselfish Poland is. So 31 and a half seconds left. Checking in for Poland is Stephen Bannon. 43 25. Aaron pass up over everybody's head. Out of bounds, back to Poland. So Bulldog basketball. Everybody walked over to the other side of the floor. Said, Wait, hold on. Come back to where we just were. Come back on this end. O'Shaughnessy to trigger. It's into Diaz. You'd imagine Poland will hold for the final shot, but we'll see. Shaughnessy works it across, feeds it to Kramer. Kramer flipped it up and in! It's very pretty to watch. 20-point Poland lead, 45-25. Logan Kaiser spinning in the paint. Kaiser in the corner, out of bounds. Another LeBray turnover. 3.8 seconds left. Until halftime. The trigger man is O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy gives to Kramer, back to O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy, three ball in the air. He knocked it down! Up the gun! An exclamation point! At the end of the second quarter for Poland's Braden O'Shaughnessy. The sweet stroke from the wing. Poland 48, LeBray 25 on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no obligation car loan at stadiumgm.com. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. Looking for that carefree retirement lifestyle you deserve? Villa Living at Copeland Oaks offers beautiful, maintenance free homes at affordable monthly rental. Enjoy friendly folks in a quiet, safe neighborhood setting. These charming, unique homes offer many amenities, plus all the benefits of community living. Fall in love with retirement living at its very best. Visit us online or in person to experience the Copeland Oaks difference. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back at Sweeney, and you can choose from over 1,500 vehicles. Check out the totally redesigned Enclave, and it's the best lease yet. Lease the 18 Buick Encore, $129 a month. No money down lease, just $228 a month. Or lease the 18 Buick Enclave Essence, just $338 a month. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. 
The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. All the information you need no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast news from across the community and breaking stories. WYTV.com. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. What a first half it was. Poland roaring out to a 48 25 lead over LeBray and a battle of ranked state powers. Hi again, everybody. Chad Kraspinski alongside Will Klusenik. And Will, as we took a look at this matchup, we knew that these two teams could score the basketball. But we didn't know quite how it would shake out when those two offensive forces collided and boy, did Poland explode in a big way. Poland exploded and LeBray wanted to focus on the stars. They got one out of the two. But like I said, it's all those other complimentary guys, Diaz, Berenger, Orr, that can really damage you as well. Which brings us to our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. LeBray wanted to contain those Poland stars like O'Shaughnessy and Kramer, but it's that supporting cast that did a lot of the damage. Yeah, and that's the hard thing about defending Poland. You've got that supporting cast that can make you pay as well, getting after it. Poland definitely did that. Uh, shining on the big stage. What's great about this game right now is you still got another half, and LeBray's gonna fight and claw back into this because this is what you wanna see from your team down at the stretch. Can they make a run and come back a little bit? Big time late for Poland here at halftime. When we come back, we'll continue our halftime festivities. We'll have halftime numbers and highlights and a whole lot more. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. This halftime report is sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Pediatric interventional radiology can help prevent some kids from having to go to surgery. Instead of doing an incision that might require stitches, we can do a procedure that just requires a small bandage when we're done. There's less pain after the procedure, they recover quickly, and most of my patients go home on the same day. You know, when my patients thank me when they come out of the operating room because they don't have pain anymore, and that's the most rewarding part about my job. Find new roads to the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Current Chevy lessees, you can save up to 32% on a new Chevy Cruze. That's a huge savings. You can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive Chevy Silverado for only $239 a month with zero down. And a new Chevy Equinox right now is only $249 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. New at 11, potholes. They're getting a lot tougher to avoid on all roads across our community. WITV talks to local drivers who are tired of bracing for impact. And United Way of Youngstown and the Mahoning Valley announced the results of their 2017 campaign. We learned just how successful their fundraising efforts were last year. Enjoy that warm weather while you can. This is the cold front I'm tracking. It's going to bring colder temperatures and some rain. I'll show you when the wet weather arrives at 11. Sir, you need to keep your hands where I can see them. Hands up. Show your hands. For the reality series. Police, raise your hands. That started it all. We tell you to show us your hands, then you show us your hands. Now put your hands up if you feel it. Cops. Weekdays at 1 on MyYTV. LeBray entered the night undefeated. However, the Vikings have plenty of work to do come the second half. It's Poland 48 and LeBray 25. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back alongside Will Klusenik, an entertaining first half and up-tempo first half, and we weren't expecting anything different. No, it was a great first half, you know, and the tempo was there for LeBray, just unable to capitalize. I'm very interested to see how they come out in these first four minutes in this second half. That will certainly set the tone. Let's take a look at our halftime team numbers, which are brought to you by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Those look this way. What stands out? I'd imagine that top number in the right corner. The top right number, and then the three points. Six of seven 
from three pulling it. And they do it in transition inside out. They shoot the correct threes, which make them a little bit easier. We've heard a heck of a lot all season long from Braden O'Shaughnessy. And boy, did he add an exclamation point in the final seconds. This is picture perfect execution. And he knocked down the big one. You can't even leave 3.8 seconds on the clock to give him any amount of time. You can see LeBray attacking on the boards. But again, when you're making a lot of shots, tough to get a lot of defensive rebounds. One of the bright spots for LeBray in that first half of play, Aaron Eiler. We weren't sure if he was going to play here tonight. He's been battling an injured ankle, but he got an open look and knocked down the triple as we're getting set to take a look at our leading scores from the first half of play. And you look at it, O'Shaughnessy continuing to do what he does, but again, has the supporting cast. Eiler has 13 on the night. They're going to need a lot more from him and Kaiser and Stevens to get themselves back into this. Ball in 48, LeBray 25. When we come back, one of the third quarter, you're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. You know, you can't fake this. Daybreak, weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Welcome to Youngstown Phantom Talk. Phantom's tickets are on sale now, starting at just $10. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. Have you ever had car trouble in a place like this? Yes, and it was like the worst experience of my life. When I get into my car, I want to know it's going to get me from point A to point B. Well, then I have some good news. Chevy's the only brand to receive JD Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Right now, qualified lessees can get this well-equipped, all-new 2018 Chevy Equinox for around $199 a month. See your local Chevy dealer today. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. All the information you need no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast news from across the community and breaking stories. WYTV.com. More than just great Q. Funny name. Fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. And we're all set for the third quarter. Poland with a 48-25 lead over LeBray in the Battle of State ranked area powers. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski alongside Will Klusenik. The theme today I saw on social media, as you'd imagine, is beach. Got the weather for it. For a little while. If you listen to Paul Wetzel, he said, it's not going to stay like this for long. We need to hold Paul accountable. We need to keep, <laughs> make sure we keep getting this weather. I don't know what he's got to do to you're, make sure we get the 70s. You're going to want to check out Paul's forecast at WKBN.com because as nice as it was, it's not going to stay that long forever. I saw some freezing rain. Not that I'm looking for it, Chad. I, I saw that Thursday morning, maybe. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Won't be long before spring is here. We're not quite there just yet. We are all set for the third quarter. Glad you're with us here on this Tuesday night. Stevens with the ball out front for LeBray. Stevens feeds to Eiler in the corner. This is Ali lobbing it underneath for Kaiser. Good help defense. Loose ball out of bounds, and it is off LeBray, and we'll go back to Poland. I want to take this opportunity now to say a special hello to Joe Ballette, who has not missed any games this season. He's been with us throughout the campaign. Special hello to Joe Bullett. Thanks for joining us here tonight on our WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Thanks for your support all season long. Chad, it's amazing how many uh, 
times we hear I hear people out in the community about these live games yep. on the app in Florida. I know my dad listens to a lot of people in Chicago. We just got a lot of people listening, tuning in. And we're so thankful for all the support yep. from fans throughout the area as we have an offensive foul called against the Poland Bulldogs. It's going to be number two on Daniel Kramer. And it'll, of course, be the first team foul. Benton Tennant with the ball. Picks up his dribble, lobs it over to Stevens. Looking underneath low post for Kaiser. Ball is out of bounds. And we have one whistle and then another. And I'm not so sure if maybe a Poland player is a little shook up. Yeah, or he got a little shook up there, but it looks like he's all right. Gave the thumbs up, going to stay in there. So Kaiser has it into Eiler. Eiler fights it up and in. You get the high percentage shot. Eiler with the bucket off the baseline, out of bounds. Now defensively is where LeBray is going to have to pick it up here a little bit and try to get some deflections and some runouts, easy buckets on their, their end of it. 48-27 is our score. Ball in the hands of Orr. There's a takeaway by Stevens. Stevens throws it down. And there's the defense leading to offense. Maybe that jump starts LeBray a little bit. Quick foul. And that one's going to be on Ali. Yeah, Tyler Stevens has been able to play above the rim throughout the season. Every time we've had highlights of him, he's thrown one down. And tonight that's the case as well. Look at Diaz flipping it off the window. Diaz having another uh, big night here, adding to it. 12 on a night. Kaiser cut off, feeds it to Ali. Up and in. And I like the intensity right by LeBray here. They are not sitting back. See a lot of benches clapping into it. Didn't expect to see anything else. And yeah, the Vikings have seemingly ratcheted things up. O'Shaughnessy has it into Diaz. Diaz behind the back. Diaz slices into the paint and flips it up and in. He is so fast. My goodness. 52-31, look at Diaz getting after it. Kramer, look out, puts it up and in. Not for a second, he'd hammer it home. And we have a whistle. And I'm not so sure why the stoppage of play. Second time we've seen it. that. Diaz, yeah, they got a little on the bottom there. Possibly, you know, just to make sure the guys are on the same page here, keep it clean. But you could see how distracting Diaz is. You leave that ball out in front of him, and you're not paying attention. He's going to take it. And just that footwork. Look at him. He can't even move to his spot. Underneath to Kaiser. He spins and bounces that one in. Very athletic by Kaiser. Good spin move. High percentage shot. Flip right there. Diaz pitches to a shot to see his Behringer off the glass and in. Not afraid to look ahead. Behringer with another easy one. 56-33. Stevens up at the top of the key. And swing it into the corner. Ali to Kaiser again. Great strength, great patience. He put it in plus the foul. Kaiser trying to motivate the troops. Takes it up strong. The opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. And you can see he takes his time with a little head fake. Gets Barringer up in the air, but they're going to give it to Kramer for his third. Logan Kaiser came in second on the team and scoring at 14 and a half points per game. Nearly a steal for LeBray. Here comes Diaz into the paint, feeding it right side. Up off the rim, no good by Orr. Off the miss, Kaiser with the rebound. Down to Stevens. Stevens scoops it up and in. That's a real nice move by Stevens. Athletic on balance. Great footwork. Diaz pitches to Behringer, off the dribble, near side or firing three ball, got it! Time out on the floor, 5.05 to play, third quarter. Poland has opened up a 22-point lead. And you can see, just, they do a great job of finding the open man, so unselfish, draw the defense, dish it to the outside, Orr with the finish, and you look at it between Diaz, Berenger, and Orr right now. You know, the, the three guys that are really just kind of 
unsung a lot, you know, and I know Kaiser wanted to focus on the, the two big guys with Kramer and O'Shaughnessy, but yeah, you leave Diaz, Berenger, and Orr, and you forget about those guys. They've got 31 of Poland's 59 right now. Say every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Krasinski, Will Klusenik back with you. As we play out the final week of the regular season, hard to believe, it's time to break out the brackets. Eiler feeds Kaiser inside. He's got tremendous touch, and he put that one up and in to cut it to a 20-point deficit. You know, and I got a text from uh, Florida right there asking, hey, Poland's playing pretty well, and, and you know what? They got all the facets right now. They do. They're playing great. O'Shaughnessy with a good-looking take again, increasing the lead to 61-39. And just defense leads to offense, Chad. We talk about it all the time. Orr finishing strong. Billy Orr getting it done on both ends, but you look at this Poland score sheet, and who is it getting it done? They all are on senior night. 63-39, Eiler scoops that one up and won't go off the miss. Masucci with a rebound. Here's O'Shaughnessy giving to Berenger. They feed it to Orr, three ball in the air. That one short, rebound to Eiler. Down the floor, Tennant to the line, to the lane, up and in. And there's what LaPray likes to do, get it out quick, get the rebound, and get it down the floor. Diaz threads the needle. Oh, what a look and what a finish for O'Shaughnessy. And that's a great pass, great finish. Another high percentage look for Poland. Just when you think LeBray might have an answer. And there's Stevens showing you his range. 65 44, 322 left to play in the third quarter. LeBray with that full court pressure. It's across to Masucci. Is Berenger shot blocked underneath by Kaiser. At the other end, Eiler to the line to the lane, puts it up, and in, plus the foul. 3.06 left to play. It is 65 to 46. And they try to go for the swipe steal. Eiler finishes it off. And they head to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. So 65-46 is our score. And we do have a timeout. Coming up on the make here by Eiler. And it's in, and with that, we will take a timeout. 3.06 left to play in the third quarter. Poland cruising along at 65-46 Bulldogs of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Hi, Rob Bellman for Boardman Subaru, the home of the safest, most award-winning vehicles on the road today. Subarus are rated the safest vehicles, period, with EyeSight driver assist technology that gives you an extra set of eyes on the road. KBB has awarded Subaru as the best mainstream brand with the highest resale value and the lowest cost of ownership. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. There has been plenty to cheer about here tonight for the Poland Bulldogs. They have roared out to a 65-47 lead over LeBrain. Not many would have expected this kind of score with... These two really, really good area powers. You know, I, I just think it shows you 
It's really Poland right now is playing their best basketball, Chad. We've seen them two consecutive games now. Uh, you have Canfield, or, yeah, Canfield held them in check there that first quarter, but really exploded in that second half and have continued that in this game. Diaz gives it over to Masucci, and Masucci with a double dribble, and the turnover will give it back to LeBray. A rare run, unforced error for Poland, and Masucci's going to take a seat. And Poland very close uh, with Berenger at one more bucket, having five guys in double figures. They're tough to beat. They start doing that. Meyer gives to Stevens. Cut off the baseline, loses the handle. Stevens puts it up short. Rebound tipped up into the air, controlled by Orr of Poland. Over to O'Shaughnessy, who slices through the defense. There's a steal by LeBray. Ahead of the pack, Stevens to the line, to the lane. Puts it up, no good. Meyer hits the deck. Couple of Vikings on the hardwood. That's one of those where Stevens probably didn't need to do the reverse. Probably should have went up just to the 11th floor and taken on the contact. But you can see right here, Orr kind of tries to avoid it. Maybe got a little swipe there. But you can see Meyer trying to go up, grab the ball, gets the foul. Scoreboard says it's Behringer picking up the personal number two. And now Chad Kaiser coming out. Maybe some perspiration or don't see any blood down there. Nice to get a little time out there, take your time as the coach, do a little housekeeping. And I have to say this, and I think you'd agree, as Coach Kaiser's out there, his team trailing now, you won't find two better people than Chad Kaiser and Ken Grisdale, the respective head coaches. Really, really tremendous coaches and even better people. Yeah, they really are. And I love just the way that they interact with their players, you know, their systems. Both of them do a fantastic job. Malachi Roberts off on the triple try. It's out of bounds. And it'll go back in the other direction. Great help there by Jake Sell on the opposite sideline to get the call correct. Working together, always good to see. Now these officials have done a great job here tonight. They have. Diaz gets it across the time stripe into the fourth court, closing into the final two minutes as O'Shaughnessy. Gives it up top to Kramer. Well, those two guys get a lot of the publicity, but these supporting cast members have been tremendous tonight as that ball is out of bounds. It'll stay with Poland. And to me, I think that's what makes them difficult to play because, you know, we saw it in the Canfield game where, you know, Kramer and Ashanti had a lot of the points early on, but when Poland got going, it was Berenger and Diaz getting some of those runouts, some of those easy possessions. I really think those three guys and Orr really make things happen. O'Shaughnessy puts that floater up and in. But it's really nice to have him as well. <laughs> it doesn't hurt, that's it for does, sure. No, it doesn't. Ball is picked up by Whiteside. Now to Stevens, top of the key, under the wing. Malachi Roberts for three, up no good. And Diaz comes up with another rebound for Poland. Here is Kramer feeding it right low block. Jump stop up off the glass and in. Just the patience, understanding, unselfishness. That's the word. Four with 13. 69-47, closing into the final minute. Meyer feeds it to Whiteside, who knocks it in. The ball is poked loose and it rolls all the way down to the other end of the floor. So we have a stoppage of play with 59.6 seconds left. So the Bulldogs have it. It is into Diaz. And now O'Shaughnessy will control. You can imagine Ken Grisdale's team will remain very unselfish as they've been all night long. Nine assists, it, it just, that's when you know, you know, the assist to turnover ratio, and you're getting high quality looks. Uh, it, it really just shows you, you know, Poland and, and what they believe in in the system and, and just how good they are. And there's Behringer with the finish. That's gonna give all five guys double figures set on that board. That's a sign of a really, really good team. 71-49, Eric pass out of bounds. 
Chad Kaiser, the look on his face right now says it all. Chad, I'm going to tell you what. The, Poland puts those numbers up, and they get that kind of production from Orr, Berenger, and Diaz. They're real tough to beat. No Almost not doubt. impossible. Diaz whips it back up to Kramer, top of the key. Here's O'Shaughnessy. He's already beat the buzzer at the end of the second quarter. Can he do it at the end of the third quarter as well? O'Shaughnessy loses the handle, and he will not have an opportunity. 2.2 seconds left. It is LeBray's ball down 71-49. Logan Kaiser looking. Came right at my. A pretty good reaction yes. there. Yep, not bad. Pretty active hands there. You got if your first... I was a foot taller, I would have had that. Got your first deflection of the night. Good stuff there. It's off me, so now O'Shaughnessy will have a chance, perhaps. O'Shaughnessy lobs it into Kramer. Kramer shot blocked, but he fights it up. They get one second crack at it, but it's no good. And we play three quarters of basketball. Here, Poland, Bulldogs 71, LeBray Vikings 49. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball. Team of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GM, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. It's the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Right now, you can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive GMC Sierra for only $189 a month with zero down. A new Buick Encore is only $199 a month with zero down. A new GMC Terrain is only $229 a month with zero down. And a new GMC Acadia is only $239 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. On sale now. Get a gift certificate to Adrian's Restaurant for 50% off. Enjoy a delicious home-cooked meal like the deep-fried fish, spaghetti with homemade meatballs, mouth-watering roast turkey dinner, and be sure to check out their in-house bakery for pies, cookies, fresh bread, and more. Get this half-off deal with no fees right now at myvalleydining.com. We have something for everyone. Amazing half-off deals. Sign up now for email notifications and start saving. Kevin James is America's favorite lover boy. You gotta stay in the mood. Hey, it's all coming back. And you'll love him on The King of Queens. Carry me upstairs and have your way with me. Just lift with your legs. The King of Queens. What are you, a Rottweiler? Feel the love five nights a week. The King of Queens, weekdays at 4.30 on MyYTV. That Poland Bulldog squad is eight minutes away from win number 20, and the Bulldogs looking like a very well-oiled machine as we are set for quarter number four. Glad you're with us on this Tuesday night. Poland with a commanding 71-49 advantage. And it's been everybody getting involved tonight. Diaz puts it up and in. He's done it from the start. Berenger to Diaz. Another assist for Berenger. Got those guys just working well together tonight. Diaz now with 16 points. Stevens has the ball on the wing. Kaiser backing in. Kaiser up front. Connor Meyer triple try up no good. And underneath on the rebound attempt, we have a whistle and a foul. But I think it's going to be called against Poland. Billy Orr picks up the personal. That'll be his first. And the fifth Poland team foul. This Poland makes everything difficult, contests everything. Uh, just really impressed, again, not just with their offense, but defensively. Always looking to contest, and that's a great shot by Stevens. He's got a sweet-looking stroke. He can 
play above the rim, as we've seen. Good athletic body, 6'5", yep. inside and out. Good player. And he's just a junior. Into the corner, Diaz firing, three balls short. Berenger fighting for that rebound. And he's out of bounds. And it'll go back to LeBray with 6.56 remaining. And so right now, if you're pulling, you know, you're gonna continue to do what you do with LeBray. You know, you're still trying to execute. You know, you're trying to claw back into this. And you don't know if you can get back into there, but again, it's one possession at a time. And that's gonna be another foul on O'Shaughnessy, and that's gonna be his third. So Coach Kaiser, I love it. Just you know, he's gonna to continue to work. And what I love about him, you talk about the just the mental investment. It doesn't matter if he's up 20 or down 20, he's got the same face, same intensity. Stevens raises up for three. That one was offline. Kaiser with the rebound. Stevens ends up back with it again, and he stuck it in. Kaiser with the save. Billy Orr off balance, can't get it to go. Ball is loose, out of bounds, and it goes back to LeBray. And this is where LeBray, you know, you just try to get a little bit of momentum, try to make a little bit of run here before this game's over. And you've got a lot of time, but yeah, Poland's very seasoned, very veteran uh, team. But if you're LeBray, you're gonna continue to work, try to execute, and take whatever they're giving you. Eiler with the ball on the wing. Swing it around to Tennant. They lob it towards Eiler. Saved oh, in. Man. Very alert play, but out of the reach. In fact, out of everybody's reach. That's a heck of an attempt, though, that by really Berenger. Is, Chad. I mean, just the recognition to not only catch the ball and not step on the line, but to turn in midair and to look for Diaz and, and throw that left-handed rifle down there. Nice lefty pitcher coming out of the pen there for you. Yeah, no doubt. 73-54. Ball in the hands of Whiteside. Now back out front, Tennant. As Whiteside thought about the three. He's a left-hander. Ah, he knocked it down. Nice little jumper. Providing a little bit of spark here. 73-56. Diaz feeding it underneath Kramer. Jump stop. Jump hook. It won't go. Rebound down to Stevens for LeBray. 5.25 in a rolling fourth quarter clock. LeBray will be better having played in a game like this. Stevens, triple try, short. Rebound to Diaz. Boy, he's been a monster all night long. Ball is loose, and we have a timeout taken by LeBray. We will keep it here with 5.07 left to play. Stoppage of play gives us an opportunity to remind you that every week we'll pick a player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. And if you miss our post-game coverage, you'll be able to head over to WKBN.com and you'll see all of our previous player of the game interviews. You know, we've got a lot to choose from that, and I know if... if Coach Brizdo had his way. We could pick the entire team. Yep. He, he would love that. But uh, I can't tell you just how impressed I've been with Paul in these last couple of games and how they're starting to play their best basketball. And like you said about LeBray, Coach Kaiser and his staff going to continue to get after it, going to continue to learn from this game, uh, and, and continue to fight these last five minutes and seven seconds. 73-56, Viking ball. Triple try from the corner is up off the rim from Whiteside. Bolden races up the floor, and now Kramer will pitch it back to O'Shaughnessy. And they're going to go into the delay a little bit. Four corners, let them penetrate. See what they're able to do. Waste a little bit of clock, and if you get the look you need, take it. Inside of five minutes left, and Billy Orr will not penetrate. East of the line and outside. It's Grisdale. We'll call a timeout with 4.29 left to play. 73-56. Can't say enough about what Coach Grisdale's team has been able to do. He always has his team playing 
Great basketball at the right time. They're so fundamentally sound as well. Yeah, you know, and you start talking about like basketball IQ. You know, all these guys, you know, play for each other. They understand exactly what needs to be run, what Coach Grisdale wants them to run. You know, and, and they're usually, you know, just in control. Uh, they do it offensively, defensively. They can fast break on you, run their sets. O'Shaughnessy inside, outside, you know, with the other guys. You know, it, just a mixture of things. They've been very impressive tonight. Out of the timeout. Pullen basketball, O'Shaughnessy. Whips it in to Diaz. This is Kramer. Around to the corner. Ball is out of bounds and will belong to Pullen. Down to 418 left. This is O'Shaughnessy for three. It's an air ball. And now it will go back to LeBray. Floating a little bit. Didn't get himself square. Again, got the open look. The look that they wanted. Just about halfway home in this fourth quarter. Hope you've enjoyed this Tuesday night. Battle of a couple of state powers, both ranked in the latest AP poll, which, by the way, was released today. LeBray ranked number four, Poland ranked number three in its respective division. Berenger, great look, great take, great finish. Ditto. 75-56 in favor of Poland as we're down to 339. Eiler knocks down the triple. Eiler continues his big night with 21. 330 left. This is Kramer into the corner now. Berenger. Berenger to O'Shaughnessy. And a timeout has been called by Ken Grisdale. And we will take the next timeout, the next dead ball, since this is a called timeout, according to our officials. And there was some confusion early on with that. So 319 left to play in the ball game. Poland 75, LeBray 59. As far as what lies ahead, Poland is the top seed in the Division II Boardman District. Here's what remains for Poland. They will wrap up the regular season against Edgewood. A little revenge on yeah. the minds of Poland. Edgewood knocked off Poland. And then it's on to sectionals, and Poland will face the winner, as you saw, of Salem and a much-improved Ursuline team. Meanwhile, for the LeBray Vikings, in the Division Three Warren Harding District, LeBray is the top seed there. The Vikings will meet Springfield on Friday, and then they'll face off with the winner of Mineral Ridge and Pima Tuning Valley. And if you look further down the horizon, you know, we might get a uh, all area matchup there in, in the regional semis. Yeah, could be. If, if South Range is able to pull out uh, a, a victory in that district final in Salem. So that might be something, again, a rematch from one of our games of the week. 75 59 is our score. Poland ball. It is into O'Shaughnessy. Defeated into the corner. Diaz. Intercepted by Eiler. And Eiler will trot it across. This is Whiteside. Great take. And he puts it up and in. And there's going to try to just continue the pressure, continue to create the pace and turnovers, and continue to work. What other great way to work than playing against these guys? 252 and a rolling clock. This is Berenger. Now Orr, and it's a whistle and a foul. 2.44 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Poland 75, LeBray 61. We'll bring you back for the conclusion after this on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. 
buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. If it's not Barry Dinkles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Welcome to Youngstown Phantom Talk. Phantom's tickets are on sale now, starting at just $10. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. Welcome back to Poland. 244 to left. There is Todd Burry, the... The dad of Sarah Burry, such a tremendous girls player here at Poland. And they are likely looking at the live stream, which is available at WKBN.com. Download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. You'll also find high school scores, stories, highlights. Download the WKBN mobile app today. That is a must have. Now the tournament play is here. We'll have all the scores, and recaps, highlights. It's going to be a fun few weeks, that's for sure. Brayden O'Shaughnessy with a clean take. And now you can't give him an inch out there and just so great off the dribble. Triple try, no good for Kaiser. Poland comes down with it. Diaz feeding it to Orr into the corner, Berenger. And now Diaz. Lightning quick speed for Diaz, and that has been on display all night long. Kramer feeding it to Orr. Near steal. Diaz. Kramer. He puts it up and in. Another assist for Diaz. Kramer point blank and the finish. White side sweet stroke, and that triple splashes in. White side. Been a little bit of a spark gives him nine on the night. 79-64 is our score. Underneath Kramer puts in another. Berenger assist Kramer. Very unselfish by these Bulldogs. 81-64 in favor of Poland. We're inside 90 seconds. Lieutenant raises up and knocks it down. Chad Kaiser takes time out with 124 left. And right now, Coach Kaiser, uh, like I said, it, they just ran into a buzzsaw tonight. Poland playing their best basketball when they need to play it at the end of the season. Definitely tournament ready. And you look at just how hot this Poland team has been. Boy, when you get high percentage shots like the Bulldogs did. I mean, look at that. Look at both sides. I mean, LeBray shooting 56%. You're thinking, oh, we're going to be in this game. We're going to be OK. Poland knocking down 70.6%. You're, you're not going to lose many games nope. doing that. And you know what? If you're LeBray, you got to cap. Yeah, exactly. Tip your cap and say, hey, you know what? You took it to us tonight. We're going to learn from it, and we're going to be better because of it. But, you know, that's just a fantastic job by Poland tonight. 81-66, Poland leading LeBray. As Coach Grisdale's team is 124 away from polishing off another 20-win campaign. And you've got to imagine, you're obviously very satisfying, but when you come to places like Poland, you've got larger goals in sight, no doubt. Kramer has it into O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy races up the floor. Berenger puts it up, no good. Kramer follows, plus the foul. Now, Chad, the thing that you watch these guys with Berenger, Diaz, uh, you know, O'Shaughnessy, 
you know, and even all these guys, they're just so ball strong. You can see the little deflection there and Kramer there to pick up the loose change. But just when they're dribbling, they're just so ball strong, they're not worried about the defenders and, and always looking to be aggressive and attack. Not nearly the night he had against Canfield. Not bad, however. 16 points. He'll go for 17, and he has it. Yeah, very yeoman workman right there. Another night at the office. Yeah. Wow. A reminder coming up after the ball game, we will visit with our player of the game and hear from our victorious head coach. It will be Ken Grisdale in the corner. Three ball up. It's short. And the rebound comes down to Diaz, head of the pack to Suchi. His eyes got so big, he saw an opportunity to get into the scoring column and he lost the ball. So Shaughnessy will take a seat. His big night is complete. LeBray ball, trailing at 84-66, white side into the paint. Floater up, no good. Cleaned up and stuck back in by Kaiser. 36 ticks left. Diaz. Spins free. They work it to Masucci. Here's Orr. And Poland not in the business of showing anybody up. As Kramer puts that one up. Follows. Nope. They won't get a third try as the ball is still loose. And it's controlled by Diaz. With 12 seconds left, Kramer fights it up and in. And that'll cap things off here tonight, I do believe. Yeah, that's probably Coach Chris probably didn't want that last one. Three ball up, no good, and the ball game is over. Final score in this one here tonight. Poland 86, LeBray 68. We'll visit with our player of the game when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Team of the Week.